UV detector versus flame rod detector. Hello, the use of correct flame detection is essential for the proper functioning of any burner. There are two major players, UV detector, known as radiation, and the flame rod, known as ionization. In this short video, we will show some advantages and disadvantages of using these two methods. I invite you to take a look. How the UV detector works. The UV detector is capable of viewing the ultraviolet rays generated by a flame, typically up to distances of 30 centimeters or more. How the flame rod works. The flame rod or ionization detector allows a small electric current to be conducted through the flame. To achieve this, it is necessary to place the rod so it touches the flame so that the current flows from this rod to the ground through the flame. Vulnerable to flame temperature. The UV detector is not affected since there is no physical contact. At very high temperatures, the rod can bend, losing detection ability. Mechanical strength. The UV detector bulb is fragile is made of glass and can be damaged. The flame rod is robust since it has no electronic components suitable for continuous operation. The UV detector bulb can saturate and may give a false detection signal. The flame rod a good solution in continuous operation. Incorrect burner settings with a rich air gas mixture. The UV detector glass can get dirty with soot but it does not affect it significantly. For the flame rod, the soot caused by carbon buildup can cover the rod, resulting in a poor reading. Cost comparison. The UV detector is several times more expensive than the flame rod. The flame rod is the least costliest of its kind. Wiring. The UV detector requires wire leads to be run in separate conduit. Incorrect cable selection for flame rods can reduce the detection level. All disadvantages in both technologies can be minimized. Consult the experts and discuss your application. There will undoubtedly be some way to reduce the effect of poor flame detection. 